Yes, yes. Welcome back. In this tutorial, we are going to wrap up our little sample player in a nice neat object and put a ribbon around it. We are going to make two objects in fact. One for single playback, and one for looping playback. Let's do the one-shot player first. This is relatively simple. We take what we already have and add inlets and outlets. Make sure the outlet is an audio one. We can remove the looping version for the moment, although you might want to paste this into another file for safekeeping. We need to make sure that we have unique names for our array objects and for our sends and receives. We do this with the dollar note symbol. We will use the array define object instead of the visual array table and name it with the dollar note. Dealing with the read message is tricky though. As YouTube user, said Harmonic, helpfully pointed out in a comment on the previous video, the dollar note does not work in messages so we need to do some fiddling for reading in files. We do this by using the list append object which will add our array name to any read messages coming in. We then route all our read messages through this. I think we also then need to remove the word list which will now appear before the read message. Yes, there we go, that is actually loading the sound file. This seems like a lot of work, but it will pay off in the long run. Is that working? No, I forgot to update the tab read array name. No, it's not working. Oh yes, this is destined to be a sub pack, so it doesn't have an audio out. It'll delete that now we know it's working. Let's put in let's in for triggering the file, changing the playback rate, and reading in files. Note that we need to force incoming part messages to be symbols for this to work neatly. Save your patch as something simple. You might want to create a folder of your own PD patches and add that to the PD file parts in preferences. Or just make sure when you make a new file to test it with, you save it into the same folder. Now let's see if this works okay. We should be able to create an au.samp object and read a file into the third inlet. Note that we just need the file path here not the resize, or even the read message. Remember that it does need to be the full path though. Yes, 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 that's working, and it is now so simple in our patch. We want to do the same for the looper though. Let's replace some things so that this is a looping patch with a phase or Hopefully all of this looks familiar from the last tutorial. I will use this inlet to control the phase of the phase or. The reason for this will become clear soon. I want this phase control to be the leftmost inlet, then the playback rate as middle inlet.
Say that as something else, like Looper or something. We should now be able to create a looping player very easily. Again we send path in four. We have player that great control in the middle. The face control allows us to very easily jump around the file, where 0 is the start, 0 0.5 is the middle, and so on. Let's try a different file to make sure everything is working okay. Yep, yep, yep. Since all the so neat and tidy now. Next time we do polyphony. Bye for now.